hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Mary and Flora here on the cam and as you can already see by the title today's video is a get ready with me for my birthday dinner um, y'all like this video took forever for me to get a good lighting for as you can already see I don't know if you can see my fridge is literally right there I'm filming at the dining table because that's where I could get some light on my face y'all but I'm not gonna rub in too much let's get right into the video so I'm gonna go in with my summer Fridays lip balm um, y'all this lip balm is so moisturizing I really like it um, and it's good to put on a lip balm on before you start your makeup because it just makes your lips feel so moisturized and you wouldn't have you know chapped lips when you're about to put lipstick on and stuff like that so I'm gonna brush my brows um, y'all I really need to go get a brow wax I've tried um, I think I've tried the wax before but having threaded my brows ever before but I heard that the threading hurts more than the waxing comment down below if I'm wrong and give me your ideas and you know anything that you guys would like to share for your girl um, but I'm gonna go in with my benefit 24 hour brow setter y'all this brow setter is everything um, it was recommended to me by one of the ladies i don't know if they're called beauty experts at sephora um and i because i i went in there trying to find a refi brow gel and the lady was like the benefit is way better than the refi because the refi has like a white like the liquid in it is just white and when you put it on your brows it's it, it kind of gives that white residue so i decided to just buy this one because this one is like and it really really works great. I am so much in love with it and I'm gonna definitely get a bigger one when this one runs out. But yeah, I'm just gonna leave them flat before I fill it in with a pencil. So I'm gonna go in with my LA Girl Pro Color Corrector. Um, your girl has been breaking out a lot and I do have some hyperpigmentation around my lips So I'm just gonna be using this to cover it up Not that I play with my breakouts y'all. I don't play with my breakouts, but sometimes it's tempting especially when you're stressed out and stuff like that But don't play with your breakouts. Okay, you're gonna regret it. So don't play with your breakouts I'm just going to blend it in um, and make sure they're all like well even and spread out um, but sometimes I use my fingers when I'm in a hurry I just dab a little bit of it on my face and I just try to blend them with my fingers but for the sake of the video I'm just going to use a beauty blender and sometimes the spots fade away too they don't like to last for a very long time because I use the faded topicals and it really works in fading your dark spots. So next off, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Putty Primer. I have never used this primer before, but it, but it was recommended to me by a friend. And so far, I can not carry the e.l.f. friend, but I can work with all of them. And it, it really, really works with the shape that it's so And I have like both of It's really soft on the face. I know y'all have seen my coffee. I'm really a coffee girl. Like, coffee is just getting okay. Um, I'm just gonna go in with my Sephora Brow Pencil. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my Sephora Brow Pencil. I'm just gonna go in with my Sephora Brow Pencil. In the shade um, Soft Charcoal. Um, normally I use the Fenty Beauty um, Brow Pencil, but I kind of alternate between the two. This really works great if you're looking for something on the cheaper end. So I'm just gonna fill in those brows that I use um, that I set with my Benefit Brow Setter. And just to put it out there, y'all, I'm not a makeup artist. I just do what works for me. So um, most of the things that I'm doing here are just things that you know just work for my skin, and that's just what I'm comfortable with for the time being. And we're still learning. Okay, we're still learning. Next off, I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. concealer. Um, Sephora does not carry the e.l.f. brand, so I bought this from Ulta. 
Um, it's in the shade Sea Olive and Chestnut. This is my first time ever using an elf concealer. I am a Fenty Beauty girl. I use my foundation is Fenty Beauty, my concealer is Fenty Beauty. I just wanted to switch things up a little bit and I just decided to try the e.l.f. concealer but I ended up not liking it so I went back to my Fenty Beauty concealer and I just decided to deal with that later. So I'm just gonna try and cut my brows and it takes me forever to do my brows like I was saying. That's why I really need to go get a wax or a threading done because like if I do that it makes it way easier because it's already like arched and everything um, but as you can see in the video like I'm looking in the mirror I'm looking here I'm looking that I was trying different angles because then I would do it and I'll come back and look at myself in the camera and I look funny so I decided to give the e.l.f. concealer another try um, but it was it was not working, it was not working. I dabbed it on my eyelids um, to test it out but it was just giving a different shade and I could, I was 100% sure that I got the correct shade um, but I can't return it because I just I used it I feel like it touched my face so I just didn't want to return it um, but it wasn't that expensive I think I bought it for and they were doing a sale it was on some type of clearance which was so weird at the time because I'll probably never be doing clearances and comment down below if you guys think it looks fine because I don't know if it's because um, I'm just used to the fancy beauty so I don't want to try like this one that's why this one looks just weird on my eyes but I went back with my Fenty Beauty concealer as you already saw previously and it worked fine so I'm gonna go in with my Morphe palette I'm not really good with eyeshadow and all of that stuff making all the glitter and the colors and everything but I can for sure do something very minimal so um, I'm just gonna go in with that shade. I didn't have the names of the colors, I mean the colors on the palette. So I kind of mentioned the names to you guys, but I'm just trying to wing it, okay? <laughs> like I don't have a technique, I'm just trying to go with the flow. So I'm gonna go in with my foundation and in the shade 40 in the Fenty Beauty. I'm gonna mix the matte foundation with the easy drop and I just kind of love the shade that both of them gives me um, so before that I am going to mix it and then I'm going to use setting spray on my face because I just love my face to be a little dewy um, when I'm applying foundation so I'm just going to blend them out just So next off I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Concealer in the shade 440 and apply it in the shade Aurora. <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, but I love the shade that these two give me. I normally go with the Fenty Beauty first then I go on top um, with the Tarte. Um, the Tarte is very very creamy. Um, if you don't use Tarte, I recommend that you grab one and check it out yourself. Um, it's a, I feel like it's one of the best concealers out there. To contour my face, I'm um, using the Fenty Beauty Match Stick um, in the shade Espresso. Um, I'm just, I was just trying a new method with this one. Normally, I would blend out the concealer first before I use the but I just wanted to get to my face and try to work with it and see what happens. 
but I really really like the end result. And let me tell y'all about this brush here. Um, I just stumbled upon it one day at a dollar store and I just decided to give it a try. Um, it's really, really great for contouring. I mean, at least for me. But the brush came off and so I have to go get a new one. But I've had it for like a year now and it's really, really sturdy. And it allows me to really work with the product way better than using a beauty blender. It's just the best and it's from the dollar store. I decided to put more um, concealer on because after contouring, I realized that my under eyes weren't like as bright as I wanted them to be. So I'm just, I just applied some of the Tarte and I'm just gonna blend that in. I'm gonna set my face with this um, Sacha Buttercup setting powder. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, I got it from Amazon and it's really, really good. I'm using my powder puff with it. Powder puff, y'all. I caved and I bought one and it's really good. So if you haven't got one, get one. But I'm um, using the powder puff and I really love, love putting setting powder on my face. Um, I just love to see that crease cut and it makes me feel like I'm an artist, okay, like a makeup artist already, um, but setting powders are the bomb.com, like they just make your face feel so, I want to say powdery, but like they just get rid of all the oil, you know, the oil that's not supposed to be there. I'm gonna go in with my Kiss Lash the new sis, that's what it's called. This just came out recently and when I saw it I was like oh let me try it. I use Kiss Lash a lot. Um your girl is not a lash filler and you know that type of going to fill your lashes episode. Yes, I do wanna try it. I've never tried one before, but I do wanna try it. My sister has and she really really liked it. Plus, I think the only disadvantage is that they come off like way sooner. Um, but yeah, y'all, I almost took out my eyeball with those tweezers, okay? The girl is suffering. <laughs> Next off, I'm gonna go in with this one size eyeliner that I got from Sephora. Um, I got a lot of things from Sephora that day. Um, if you haven't checked out my haul, it's on my Instagram. Please go check it out. Um, my Instagram name is linked in my description box, so y'all can go check it out. But it really works great. I really, really like it. Before, I didn't have a liner. After I run out of my liners, I didn't have a liner for a while and I would just always use my sister's liner and she just got his so I had to go get one for myself so this one is really really good. So next off I'm going to go in with this Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. The TikTok girlies got me okay. The TikTok girlies got me. Um, it was all over my For You page and I just decided to just get it and try it it's pretty lightweight and I really really like it normally I just use the NYX um, setting spray but this one also works too I mean if you want something on the affordable side I think that's like better but yeah next off I'm gonna go in with my LA girl eyeliner this is actually an eyeliner y'all and I just use it as my lip liner it really really gives me that blind lip look uh, next off, I'm going to go in with my Maxi Blush. This blush is from Walmart, y'all. 
um, I think it cost like eight dollars or so I don't remember it's been a while since I've had it but I wasn't really a blush girl that 2023 blush everywhere okay I'm putting blush everywhere I really like how it looks on my face and I feel like when you really find a good blush it makes you even love putting blush on more um, next off I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty lip gloss in the color fussy and um, the stay glossy this one's also from Walmart the pink one that I have in my other hand um, they really work well for me I just love the color that it gives and I normally wasn't into like I'll just normally just put gloss on but I wasn't into all that lip lining and like um, mixing it lip glosses and stuff like that but I really really like it I feel like this um, is a more safer way for me I would say because I'm still experimenting and obviously I'm still learning um, but I really really like how this color you know how the two give off this color so next off I'm gonna go in with my mascara um, I normally put on the mascara before I put lip gloss or anything but I forgot so I just wanted to throw that in real quick so next off I'm gonna go in with my Rare Beauty highlighter in the shade flaunt um, I got this on I mean when I went to Sephora it was one of my Sephora picks um, I'm not really a highlighter girl but I'm learning I really like how it looks on people's faces when they like put it on but as you can see in the video like I am trying to play it safe I'm trying not to overpower it and again I wanted to like show but comment down below I was so excited about this makeup like I was really proud of myself I feel like it looked really good but I just want to know you guys' thoughts so just let me know in the comments okay let me know So this is the outfit, dress is from Fashion Nova, shoes are from Shoe Dazzle, and the clutch is from Amazon. I'm going to link everything down in the de um, description box. Um, this is the full look. I'm going to stand in the mirror so you guys can see how it looks like together. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell notification button so you're going to be notified whenever I post a video. And all the pictures are going to be on my Instagram page, so go check it out.